Hello guys, I just wanted to get on here real quick and show you guys something that I've learned about wiring an O-gauge layout using the MTH DCS system. Um, MTH uh, recommends that you use a star wiring technique. So, but first of all, some of you may be familiar with the common bus wiring. And basically what that, what that is, is, uh, let me just draw this real quick. Here's your, coming around. Okay, so here's your layout. Okay, this is basically your track. It comes all the way around your layout. And directly underneath that track is your main power bus wire, that uh, your pair of bus wires that runs underneath your track all the way around your layout. And then you'll have your feeder wires that drop down every 6 to 10 feet or so, like that down to your power bus underneath your track. And then, so, that's the common bus wiring technique. But, with using the MTHDCS system, which I found works a lot better, let me flip this over. Here you have, here we have our layout again, your uh, loop coming all the way around, okay? And down here, Sorry guys, I'm trying to do this holding a phone and uh, the pencil and paper at the same time. So what I want to do, I'm going to draw you a transformer. Okay. Transformer right here. Okay. So here's your transformer and then right next to it or right underneath it, you will have your terminal block. Okay, block. Well, I just put, so you get the picture. Here we have transformer and your MTH uh, terminal block. So you're gonna run your power feeds from your transformer to your terminal block, okay? And your terminal block will have numbered um, terminals on each side. You'll have positive on one side, negative on the other side, or your common. So your whole layout will be shared all the common wiring on your layout will be shared using this technique. So you don't have to separate any common wiring. All that common wiring is going to be shared. And the only thing that you will have to separate is your positives. So from your terminal block, we're going to draw... Well, we're going to run a set of wires from this side all the way up. Okay, so let's say this is your positive side. So you run a positive wire coming all the way up to this end of the layout straight to your center rail, which is your hot rail, positive rail. And then the same length of wire coming from the negative side or your common side of your terminal block is going to run all the way up. And then that will go to your outside rail. And uh, that will be shared with all your outside rail throughout your whole layout. And then, so what you want to do then is set, is uh, make a block right here. This is insulated. So this center rail is insulated using a plastic rail joiner here. And then another 20 feet over here, you're going to separate the center rail again using another insulated rail joiner. And right in the middle of that, which is your 10 feet mark, you're going to drop your feeder wires, negative and positive. You're going to drop them down and run them all the way down to your terminal block down here. Uh, your positive being on this side and your negative common being on this side. And so we do that all the way around. Sorry, I'm going to try to do this real quick. I know I'm holding the phone awkward. And then same thing, go up this way. And then to here. I know it looks like a big hot mess, but you will just run straight wire feeds coming from your terminal block, positive, negative, going to each section of the layout. And then your layout will then be, your center rail will then be divided into blocks going all the way around. And uh, so this is what I've learned. Um, I haven't tried it yet, 
but I've heard that this works very well. Uh, the person that I learned this from, you guys may be familiar with him, Mr. Muffins from Mr. Muffins Trains on YouTube. Uh, I called him today and asked him, you know, my trains aren't running very well. How do, how should I, am I doing my wiring right? And he said, he asked me if I'm using the common bus wiring. I said, yes, I am. And he asked me how big is my layout? And I said, it's about 1500 square feet. He said, well, you need to use the star wiring method. So this is what he told me to do. The transformer, feed in your power to your terminal block. And then from your terminal block, you run a positive and negative set of wires to every block on your track directly to your rail. And then, yes, it will use up more wire, but your uh, current won't be interrupted as easily doing it this way than it would be with using your common bus wiring. Because the way the DCS system works, uh, the signal goes from the center rail, bounces from the center rail to the outside rail, all the way around the layout. And so by using this star wiring technique, you will have a lesser chance of any interruptions in that signal. If Hopefully this makes sense. If you have any questions, uh, please shoot me a message. But I just wanted to share with you guys, and hopefully this will help somebody uh, in the future. If you are planning on building a three-rail layout in O-Gage, this will work very well if you have a large layout. But if you have a small to medium-sized layout, common bus wiring will be just fine. But for a larger layout, using this star wiring technique that I showed you here will work best. And uh, like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to message me. And I just wanted to share with you guys. Thank you.